good morning and sorry I'm running a bit late this morning I promise you it's not because I forgot to get up or my alarm didn't go off it's actually the opposite it's because I started doing jobs and um, got a bit busy and then suddenly realised what the time was and I hadn't got all my bits together so I've been dashing about like a mad thing so um, good morning <coughs> hopefully I have now gathered together morning diff all the things I need for us to create um, a nice card this morning um, but it may be that I'm rushing off at some point to gather things together now I'm doing this live this morning I've not plugged the microphone in so I thought I'd see how that would go because um, it's been a bit muted and so I just thought I'd see how the phone microphone um, picked up and um, whether that was working um, without the aid of an added microphone so we'll see how that goes um, and you know, we'll, we'll pop the other one back in if it's a problem so good morning we've got some sunshine here um, but not as hot as it was last Thursday where we all um, really felt the heat um, we're just not used to those sorts of temperatures morning Chrissy um, we're just not used to those sort of temperatures here and I think uh, it knocked us all a bit for six but we've had a couple of days of cloud and rain and um, and now we've got the sunshine back so we've all we're all happy bunnies again now um, so this week we're going to be looking at the follow your art suite which is the suite that you've got up in front of you on the screen just here and we're going to be casing a card from the catalogue in just a moment um, I've not even look, managed to print a look at the um, the list of ingredients that they, they as a demonstrator we're very lucky to be able to see a list of ingredients that they've used in these projects and um, I've not even looked at that so I really am going on the hoof this morning um, that often happens after the weekend either I've had a very busy weekend and haven't had time to pre-plan all of these things or I'm very organized we're going for not quite so organized this morning so a bit more on the hoof but hey ho all good fun okay so the follow your art suite so you get um, in this suite let's see if we can find all the bits and pieces you get a stamp set and um, as might suggest by the name it's sort of quite artsy and craftsy you get things like these little bottles that you can use for glitter glue or ink refills or whatever you like you get various buttons get some nice pens we're going to be using those today you get some rolls of ribbon um, you get this nice outline that fits in the label punch some really sort of quirky fonts on there um, yeah a really nice stamp set and then you get some dies that go with it and so this includes some things that so sort of cuts out the ribbon and that um, label and you've got buttons and you've got really long lines of buttons and trims you even get a paper clip so you can cut yourself paper paper clips and you get the little um, clip the bulldog clip that you can cut out the stamped image and there's your little bottle so really fun you can create some really fun projects with this um, you obviously get your designer series paper so here's my little swatch of the paper and it is all sort of really quite bright that one's got stitching on it um, sort of just backgrounds there's some threads and ribbons painty sort of swirly backgrounds lots of pens lots of crafty tools scissors buttons and glue sort of glue guns and things this is a really nice sort of bright background and there's some more of those paper clips and things if you were doing something sort of more stationary themed so some really fun papers in there there is also a button embossing folder and um, there's a little embellishment kit which is here you get a couple of things of thread you get some paper clips and these little charms including these little charms that say made with love they're really cute and then you've got these felt these are sort of stitched felt stick on embellishments we're going to be 
digging into those in a little while. Um, also included in this suite is the washi tape. Remember we were using the stamping up washi tape the other day and the stamping up boxes, mini shopping bo shipping boxes. Those are all part of this fabulous quirky little suite. Um, so really lovely. Um, but I thought that the card that we would case this morning, and I've not actually really used this suite very much, so it's me digging bits out as we're playing with them, as well as encouraging you to do so. And we're going to have a little bit of a go at creating a card that looks a little bit like that. And as I say, we are a little bit on the hoof, so it may not end up looking completely like that, but it's going to look a little bit like that. Now I've just realised that there's a couple of other things I need to stretch for. There's white embossing powder and I'm just going to go and grab some ink. So two seconds. is when you can't find the ink pad that you want so let's try one more place is indeed a mystery. We have a missing ink pad but I'm sure that it will come to life but that's okay we will go for um, plan B. Right okay so let's have a look at making our card then. So what we have got on the base <coughs> Let's hope that you know we're going to get scatty out of the way at eight o'clock on a Monday morning and the rest of the week is going to go to plan. So um, the card base is a piece of um, A4 um, crushed curry card cut in half scored at ten and a half centimetres. So we have a crushed curry card base and then I've got a piece of this DSP and this has got sort of like it's sort of quite a subtle sort of background but just got sort of blobs and swirls and things on it. Um, so that is our background paper and this is the piece I've actually cut to size so that's one just there and then I've got two little bits of the stripy crushed curry paper and they were measuring six centimetres by one centimetre and they're going to go in the background there and then we've got a piece of whisper white card to go on the top and that actually measures um, 12.4 by eight centimetres so it's um, two centimetres shorter than our piece of DSP on the top there. So those are our basic elements for um, the card. We're also going to need some of this coral twine. We're going to need this little felt embellishment just here. So these sort of stitched scallop embellishment. We're going to need that. We're going to need this die that cuts out the pens and obviously we're going to need the stamp that stamps the pens and we're going to need some whisper white card to do that with. Right, now I'm actually going to colour these pens with um, watercolour pencils. So, because I'm going to be using watercolour pencils to um, colour them with, I'm going to need to use my stays on ink to stamp them with. Now I haven't, as you can see, I haven't even put the label on the back of this stamp here. I'd only just literally popped it out of its sheet. I hadn't even got that far, so I've not yet used this stamp. So I thought I would put the label on while we were here, just a bit of a reminder. So on one side of these labels, they've this sort of this backing is got a split down the middle, so you can split the backing off the label, leave the label in the sheet but with the sort of sticky backing um, 
upwards and then do excuse me if my head gets in the way but then you want to line up your stamp so that it sits beautifully on your label and then peel it off and there you have your clingy stamp with its label on the back so let me pop that in there for a minute we are also going to need so let's do that um, one more time with the you paint my happiness because we are going to need that stamp as well so let's have a look again let's find that one it's here let's find the split on the back take off the backing off of there we've taken the backing off of our stamp let's line that up pop it on peel it off there we go so we now have our two nice clingy stamps all ready to go so let us find some stamp blocks and we will have is that going to fit on there yes we'll have that nice long one just there or shall we have that one mm, no i think we'll go with this long one so we'll have the h block Put our pens on and the B block for our greeting. And there we go. And then we want our stays on ink, and a piece of card, and our dies on hand ready to cut out. We pop our second cover off of there. Now what I will do is, buried underneath my glass mat here, I have some oddments of the um, grid sheet. Because I've not stamped with this stamp before, I'm just going to do a trial error on my sheet. Look at that, beautiful. Okay, so I think we're ready to go. in the catalogue actually has 10 pens in it but my hunch is because we will have a different our card base will be slightly different we might not need 10 but I will just squeeze as many on there as I can there we are I think we've actually got 12 on there now so that's that. Let's pop our lid back on so that our stays on. It doesn't run out. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut them before I colour them. I would normally do that the other way round. But I think on this occasion, um, while I decide what colours I want where and which pens I want where, I'm going to cut them first. And give myself... A variety of options okay so the last thing I did was a 3d embossing folder on my big shot so my um, sandwiches are all my sandwiches is all a, a skew and a squiff so we have our base plate and our thin die adapter one plastic plate on the top line that up there and just as I've not used the stamps before neither have I used the dice so this is a first outing for these so that's exciting and I love the fact that they stamp as one and cut out as individuals that those two haven't quite gone can we Wiggle that die back in place. Probably just didn't quite hit the rollers right. All of everybody's machine will vary slightly. That's better. 
there we have three Crunch, crunch. It's amazing how many people think they've broken their machines the first time they hear those terrible crunchy noises. Six little pens. But it's all good, all perfectly normal. on these pens are really beautiful. The sort of swirly patterns. Fabulous for decorating the front of notebooks and things. If you want to give little packs of stationery or you want to do a little set of note cards or something. Ooh, I wonder how they would work as um, shrink plastic, little shrinky pens that you could add to pencil cases. There's a thought. Rain's going now. Right, so there we have 12 little pens. I don't know that we shall want 12, but we've got 12. Um, just looking, I've not even... I've not even found us on the laptop yet. Let's just tick that up. And then I have this greeting. So while we're sort of, we've got inks and things out, let's have a play with that. Now the greeting on the um, sample in the catalog has um, got two different effects. So some of it is on Pacific Point cardstock with white embossing. And some of it is on petal pink cardstock with um, Calypso Coral ink. So let's start by, let me get my embossing buddy, let's just give that a bit of a rub. Let's start by stamping that in Versamark and getting some white embossing powder. My laptop tells me I'm not connected, which is not good news. Hopefully my phone still is. <laughs> Let's uh, flick that off. Okay, beautiful. Put the lid back on there. So that if I should knock it, it won't be with too much of disastrous consequences. Bringing my heat gun. Excuse the noise while I just heat that up. Oh, that's popping quite nicely. There we go. And heat that all round. So that's our heat embossed white on Pacific Point cardstock and as I said the other um, option was um, on some petal pink card and I have some oddments of that here with a Calypso Coral ink pad. Now it's my Calypso Coral ink pad that seems to have gone walkabouts. So in such an emergency let's bring out our stamping white marker. Now our stamping white markers have exactly the same ink in as our ink pads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to colour using the brush end of my marker direct to my stamp. So let's just put a layer of colour over our stamp. Make sure we get all the little ends because of course this is a font so we want it of a, a script so we want it to all be covered and then I'm going to give it a huff. <sighs> So I literally huff onto the stamp just to make sure that that is all beautifully moist. I know some people don't like that word. So there we have our um, crushed curry. 
no we don't we have our calypso coral stamped greeting so then we're going to need to take our paper snips that were definitely here earlier here they are and we need to cut out Get ourselves some happiness. Get ourselves some paint. So what I could have done, of course, is masked that paint so that that was literally all that was that was coming out. Um, but on this occasion, we're going to cut round them. So we want you. You paint. spot hello rosemary lovely to see you this morning you paint my there and you paint my world with and there we have happiness let's just just need to take off a smidge more on that one that's it so you paint my world with happiness so we have our words there as well so that's always a little bit fiddly but it does give you quite a nice effect it is sort of um, not useful for not just for sending um, hostage notes but also for creating lovely cards so let's get our paper watercolour pencils out and we'll give some of our um, pencils just a little pencil and pencils just a little bit of colour grab my chair so that I'm coming down to their level to colour them in okay without losing any of our little pieces in the background let's look at our little pens and pencils So how they've done them in the in the catalogue that we're casing is we've got some going one way and some going another. So we want one go those going that way and that one coming that way. So if I lay them out as they are, and then I can colour them in as they are. Another pencil and one more of those markers. Okay, so the colours that we know that we've got in our papers and that we've used so far, we've used a little bit of crushed curry. Um, and of course we've now got two sets of watercolour pencils. So we, the, the Calypso Coral and the Pacific Point were in the first um, set. We've got some crushed curry out of the second set. I think we've also got a bit of pool party going on in there in the background of our paper. So there, we'll use those and we'll um, we'll add some colour. So let's just put 
a little bit so we're not coloring these all in we're just sort of adding a little bit of touch of color to them so we'll add some pool party to the top of this one and we'll color in the nib on the bottom so we'll add a bit of color in there as well and then we'll use some calypso coral on this one Of course, the nice thing about the pe the pencils is you can sort of either colour them really lightly or go in a little bit darker and add in a bit more shading on that one side. Let's have this little stripe down here. Again, we'll do the nib. This one I'll be bringing some pink, but I'm just going to very, very faintly colour in that end just to add just a little bit of shading to it, not very much. Let's have some blue on here. this end and again let's put some a bit more on this bottom bit just there so just adding in little hints of colour here and there we'll have a bit of crushed curry on this one go right up to the end here a little bit on our nib little bit just here on this bottom section a bit more pool party on here let's put a bit on that center bit so it really is just here and there adding some little elements of color as we go along the line with our little pens Obviously, you could spend ages and colour them all in and have them really beautifully multicoloured. Go pinkish again. A bit more Pacific Point. A lovely bright blue Pacific Point, so it gets a little bit overlooked. Can't think what we were doing with it the other day, but we were watercolouring with it. Oh, we were watercolouring with it on our trucks. It really is a beautiful colour. And last but not least, dun, dun, dun. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I had another big pen somewhere. Where's that gone? I don't know. Let's have this little pencil instead then. We'll have him in some crushed curry. There we go. So I'm just going to pop those pencils away. Those stood in there and that one went in there. And then let's start putting our our little card together right so first of all we need to add some of this um, calypso coral twine around our piece of dsp i'm going to wrap it all the way around and tie it into a, a bow on this end so what I'm going to do is tie it into a knot first and then into a bow because it just holds it in one place, particularly tying it around paper because of course paper doesn't hold itself quite so firm as a piece of cardstock would. So let's take our snips 
and before we stick that down let's decide if that's in about the right place if that wants to that little bow wants to move round a little bit so let's just wiggle it round slightly there we go so what I'm going to do is uh -huh. I was going to use my snail, but my snail seems to have obviously very slowly cooled off somewhere. So let's um, use a bit of Tombow instead on the back here. Put some Tombow on there and stick that to our crushed curry card base. Then we've got our little strips of paper. What I'm going to do first, actually, I'm going to take some dimensionals. Oh, I haven't turned the ping up on my phone. I'm going to take some dimensionals and stick on this piece of whisper white because we're going to add our pens on the top. But that will make sure that it's well positioned. So let us then take our backings off of here. a mark on that side well that is frustrating isn't it let's find ourselves some more card two seconds <clears throat> know exactly what I did there I rested it where I'd stamped those um, pens on my mat and they're obviously the stays on hadn't quite dried um so we wanted this 12.4 by 8. Right, I'm going to lay it on my card while I put these on the back. So I don't get any more messy marks on there. Everybody is having a good day, be it early morning or looking forward to a good day if you're here in the UK. Um, if you're out there in Australia, I hope you've had a good day so far. Right, so that is our piece of Whisper White. Now I'm going to know exactly where I want to tuck these little bits of crushed curry strips of paper. So we've got one just there and we'll tuck the other one under here just there okay then we're going to add our little pens now I think the easiest way to add those is going to be with some dimensionals now I'm just thinking I'm just going to cut some snips side these edge bits are so useful I'm just going to go along there and snip some bits so that they're just ready to peel off we might need a few more than that but we will see so let's see, we'll have a bit at the top, a bit at the bottom, and it's possibly going to need a little bit in the middle. So again, another fiddly little job, but hopefully will be well worth it. There's that one. Was my lid to my tombow that's just gone on the floor so we'll wait and crawl under the desk when we finished I think there we are a little row of three strips of 
dimension along the back of there. Did I get that bottom one? No, it's still on there. Okay, we're going to have this one coming up that way. And then we'll have this little pink pencil just here. These little pens and things are really cute. And really effective even just adding that little sort of spots of colour. Not colouring it all in, just little bits on the top. A blue pen so what have we got coming up this week I haven't I've got a class on Wednesday so this was a class that we had a couple of classes that we've had to that we've transferred because um, for one reason or another the people that were down to come um, couldn't make it so we had a bit of a swap um, we've got another of those coming up. I'll tell you about that in a minute. But the class that is now happening on Wednesday afternoon, so that's the 31st of July, um, is the technique class um, with the um, floating die cuts. The words wouldn't come to me then. I find that happens more and more these days. Must be something about my age. So it's the floating die cut class that I've got on Wednesday afternoon. So obviously, if you now find that you're free on Wednesday afternoon and you live fairly locally and you'd like to come and join us for that, you would be more than welcome. Um, and then obviously we have Tesco's this afternoon where it's sort of like a fifth Monday, I think. It seems to have been a very long month. So... Um, I thought that I would just do a one-off project um, for the Tesco's ladies this afternoon um, and if you go and check out today's blog post which is one of the things I was doing first thing this morning um, you will find the um, Dutch um, door fold card that we're going to be creating at Tesco's this afternoon so um, you're more than welcome to come and join us for that too. Right, let's get our scissors and snip a few of these. I've got a meeting this week to go and talk to somebody about the idea of doing a 24 hour craft a thon um, for a local charity, so that's quite exciting. I um, don't know when that will be, not immediately, um, but that's something that um, we're talking about planning. So, some exciting things coming up always something exciting on the horizon have a little yellow one just there so this obviously isn't the sort of card that you're going to whisk up in five minutes flat but it is good fun And I did say I didn't know whether we would get 10 down there. I don't think we will. I think we're going to just put one more and then put this blue one on the end there. And I think that will probably see us to the end. Because obviously, as, as we've said before, sizings, the UK sizings and the American sizings do differ. And um, obviously, our concept artists stamping up are all based in Utah so they are going to be using um, US cardstock so that just means that we need to give it a little bit of a tweak but that's okay Ooh. excuse me one moment
I am so sorry people that was reading the meter The man reading the meter and I just realised he left the door open. Okay, where were we? Where were we? I'm so sorry to have abandoned you, but I couldn't predict that one was going to happen. Okay, so we've stuck on all our little pens. And as I say, we've just got the nine on there. So I've got a couple of pens extra for another day. Um, and then we're just going to add in our um, little embellishments. So, so these are little felt embellishments with stitched detail on. They're really pretty. So let's add that across there. And then we'll put a little bit of third dimensional on the back of which all stuck to my fingers now. On the back of here. I don't know about you, but our meter is right in the back of a cupboard. And so, of course, you know, they come sort of, you know, once a year or whatever, twice a year. So you don't just leave the cupboard empty in between time. So it's always a bit of a battle to actually get at the meter when they arrive. Right. Sort of working backwards. So there's our with happiness. And then we will have some world. Just here. A tiny little my that piece of dimensional going to be too long no I think we're just about right so we'll have my just here paint that slightly because that little bit of dimension is sticking out the bottom. Paint just there. And last but not least, we'll have you. You are very definitely, you may be last, but you're def definitely not least. So there we go. Let's add in you. you just there so there you paint my world with happiness so there's our little card eventually with you know interruptions from the electricity men and goodness knows what else um there's our little card that's in the catalogue and there's our version that we've created this morning using that beautiful bundle follow your art the follow your art suite and as always i shall put links up to this on my um blog post afterwards to my shop where you can find this suite um where you can shop for it yourself on my online shop if you happen to be here in the uk and in search of a stamping up demonstrator and with all of these suites if you want the entire suite you will find just one code so that entire suite with the stamp set the dies the paper the button embossing folder the embellishment kit the washi tape and those mini shipping boxes you can have the entire suite for £82.25 and you just need to put in that one code. And with all those goodies, you'd be able to create lots of little 
um, art themed um, projects that you could share with your fellow crafty friends. So I hope you've enjoyed that card this morning and say apologies for the interruptions. Um, I think it must be time for a cup of tea and a breakfast now, don't you? Um, so I will disappear. So do come and join me this week for some classes if you would like to. Um, otherwise, I will see you on Thursday evening for a bit more following our art. Have a really good week.